friends, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful sunshiny day here. It's Tuesday and I'm going to share with you a little recipe that I am gonna make for dinner tonight. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Also make sure you're following my Instagram and Facebook page, The Pixie Dust Housewife. So I stumbled upon these amazing slow cooker starter sauce. I love this brand. It's the La Tortilla Factory. Um, this is the Barbacoa Smoky Chipotle Mexican Herb and Hint of Lime Slow Cooker Starter Sauce. That was a mouthful. Yeah, we're gonna try to make these really yummy um, like pulled steak tacos for dinner tonight. Um, I'm gonna link in the description of this video. You can actually find these on Amazon. Um, so I'll put the link. There's a few different ones. I know that there is like a simmer sauce that you can do with chicken, um, and there's another one that you can do with fish. I'm gonna link them in the description below. But we are gonna do the slow cooker starter sauce, and um, we're gonna do this chuck tender roast. I am using about a two pound chuck tender roast um, right here. This was actually on sale at my grocery store, so that's what gave me the idea to try this out. Um, also, I have some limes and avocado. Um, you can also do some hot peppers or um, jalapeno peppers if you want. My family's not huge on jalapeno peppers, so we're not gonna do those this time. And then, obviously, just some flour tortillas. I like the fajita style ones. They're a little bit thicker and a little bit softer, and these are actually just from Walmart. All right, so this is my slow cooker. I love this one. I actually have two different ones. This is the Frigidaire Professional. I'm gonna link this in the description because you can find this on Amazon Prime. Um, seriously, this is like the best slow cooker I have ever found. I really love it. Um, it cooks really good. There's a bunch of different settings. We purchased our house and redid our kitchen. I bought all Frigidaire appliances. Um, we've got the Frigidaire microwave, the Frigidaire professional range. Our refrigerator over there is the Frigidaire professional. Our dishwasher is. We bought all matching Frigidaire professional pieces. So that's when I purchased this and I'm so glad I did. I use it all the time. All right, so the first thing that I am doing is I'm actually going to do a quick sear on all sides of my roast. I'm just putting some butter in there and I'm just gonna let the pan get super hot and then I'm just gonna quickly just sear all sides of my roast. So here you can see I'm just searing it. It's, my pan is really hot. I have the setting on um, almost high. But I'm just going to let it sear just for a minute or so. So next I cut my um, roast into three pieces and I'm just going to take those pieces and I'm going to put them right in my crock pot. I emptied my starter sauce just into a bowl and I'm just pouring a third of a cup of water into the mix and I'm just using a little fork just to kind of mix it around and once it's all mixed we're going to dump this right on top of our roast in the crock pot. Super easy. I love doing things in the crock pot too because during the day your house just smells like a home cooked meal. All right so we're just going to take this right over to the crock pot and we are gonna just dump this right over to the meat, just like that. So I'm going to cover this. I'm gonna cook it on medium for six hours and then just turn it on. And that's it. All we have to do is just let it cook. All right, it's got about just over two hours left. It looks good. I steamed up my camera a little bit when I opened that up, but it smells amazing. So I'm gonna continue to let it cook for the last two hours. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some fork and try to shred it apart. Um, and then kind of like let it sit in the sauce for probably another hour or so before we serve it. 
All right, so I have about 15 minutes left and I pulled the big pieces of the roast out and I am just shredding it now with a fork like this. And then I'm just gonna dump it right back into the seasoning and kind of just stir it around and let it finish cooking. All right, so the meat is all done. It's been kind of soaking in the sauce good probably half hour 45 minutes well, basically I just took my tortillas out and warmed them up I sliced up some avocado I have some Mexican style cheese some cilantro and some lime wedges all right so here it is it looks delicious I'm gonna give it to Sean he's gonna be the first to try out our cocina fresca barbacoa Really good. You're gonna tell us how it tastes. Huh? All right, that was it. Good. You're good flavor. All right, so this was it consensus is is that it was really really delicious Again, I'm gonna link this in the description below so you guys can go and try it out thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we will see you again real soon take care